Yo team, what's going on? Right, not very positive checking today, but it's something I need to address that I've not really addressed in any of the videos so far. Right guys, when entailing or enrolling on any sort of journey or crusade, whatever you want to, I don't even know what you want to call it, any sort of this block here, this from start to finish, right? There is a fucking hell of a lot you need to consider. And it's it's not about, at this point here, the start point, I don't know whether the camera's the right way around, probably, hopefully, this is the start point, it's not backwards. The start point, right? It's all about you. It's all about what you want, your goals, you know, what you want to achieve from all this, where you want to go with it, what you'll get from it, right? And you never see the bigger picture that happens along the way of you getting these goals to your end point, all right? Guys, believe me, it is not just you. It is not just a you thing. And this is not me being a negative, vibey, horrible meh, video. These playlists are to give you an insight of what it is like to commit yourself to a shoot, to be shoot ready, all right? Now, I have, by a long shot, not come into in any condition that I wanted to, all right? I've come in, you can see I'm thinner, all right? But in comparison to some other shows, it's not happened. And half of it is because I feel like I don't want it. All right, and half it is because of between A and B, I forgot what it takes to take in consideration C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, C, to Z, all right? Z's the end goal, A's the start goal, A's all about you, Z's all about you, and there's, 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 there's so many more to it than that, there's so much more to it than that, and this is what I'm trying to relate to here. Guys, I've had my ups and downs, twice in two weeks now, my head's, pop, my head's fell off, all right? My head's, what, what I mean by my head's fallen off, if you're not like into the lingo, all right, is it's just gone, <laughs> leave me alone, no one speak to me, I want no time for anyone, and that's not me being horrible, it's just your body is in a point of starvation to the extent of if you don't give me what you're going to give me, it feels like it's going to die, all right? So when I'm eating no carbs a day, you need carbs to function as a primarily energy source. Once you don't have that, your body switches to eating fat. It doesn't want to do that. Fat saves people's lives. Fat was there as a survival mechanism when we were caveman to keep us alive, all right? So when you're in this point of depletion, you are horrible and you don't mean to be horrible. And the amount of people you're pushing away is just, I can't tell you. And it's not you. It's not you directly, you know, I've got three, four, I could name one client now that's done the exact same position, he's had to pull out of a show because of it, all right? It's nothing to do with your personality, it's the process you are putting yourself through because you as a person expect yourself, you expect more from yourself and you're probably highly driven, like me, you've been in sports since you're 14, it's all you know, losing or quitting isn't an option, Right, so you just keep putting yourself through this shit without considering other people. All right, now I'm not in a bad position. I've upset a lot of people. I have, I know. And my mum is my world. Right, I am my mummy's boy. And even I've not even been hearing from my mum. And that's not her not doing it on purpose, but she knows just to leave me alone because she phoned me up and I'm just like, yeah, no, yeah, no. And it's got to a point now, guys, where. I, I had to come home early from work last night because I couldn't physically stand up. Uh, it, it, it's, it's the point of you asking yourself, when did this become stop being fun? And when it stopped being fun, is it worth me carrying on? If not, then why am I doing it? It's as simple as that. All right. So I took a complete break from social media from now until I finish the shoot because... I'm in work 7 a.m. till 7, 8, 9 p.m. most days, Monday to Friday. I have weekends off, all right? And even then, I'm just doing bits and bobs. And guys, I just feel like I am constantly on my phone. Hello, texting, Instagramming, Facebooking. Just, I'm not even Facebooking. I'm just scrolling whilst trying to watch a movie. I'm just looking for nothing, right? And it's becoming a ridiculous addiction of our generation, right? And I hope a lot of you relate to what I'm speaking to here. I feel like I'm speaking a lot of truth. We are addicted to those fuckers and it needs to stop. So 
it's simple rule with me now. I turn my phone on at quarter to seven in the morning, it comes on automatically, and it goes off at, I think it's half seven. Obviously, because I do have some sessions seven to eight, so if people need to ring me last minute, half seven to cut off point. If, if you need me after then, there's a system on the phone you can put, if someone rings you more than three times as like an emergency, it'll come through anyway. All right, so guys, Instagram notifications are not important. Facebook posts are not important. This is not me just going back to being a cranky grunt. This is just life. We spend our lives walking down the street looking at a phone, missing countless opportunities that are walking past us. You know, there's, there's, there's a video just come out on Facebook that is absolutely perfectly describes what I'm saying. There's a guy walking down the street on Google Maps looking for a place to go and there's a girl that walks past him. He takes away his phone, repeats the situation and he actually interacts with the girl and asks him and ends up seeing her, going out with her on a date. The, the stuff and opportunities we miss from these fucking iPhones, these smartphones, are just ridiculous. And I can't wait, alright? The only partial reason I'm on this now is because of Abby in Australia. That is the only reason I have to keep it on me all the time because the time zones are different and we never speak, alright? But I just feel like I need to post this video online because I am going to go complete cold turkey on it for the next few days. If you need me as a client or as a friend, you will have my number, alright? And you can phone me or text me. But I've deleted every app off there because I've had enough. I've had enough of the social pressure, the Instagrams, all of it. I've just, I've had enough of it for the time being. I want a clean break. I want to just be thinking straight. I want to, I want to, <laughs> I want to in a way look forward to this thing I've prepped for for eight weeks. And at the minute I'm finding it very, very hard. So this is just a quick message to drop in, to say I uh, to say tra, all right? Obviously, when I'm when once the shoot's done, and probably I'll download them on the way down to the shoot because I'll be you know eating sweets and stuff, so I'll be feeling normal. But at this point in time, guys, I just it's just a pressure, a stress that I don't need in my life. So if you don't need it, eliminate it. It's as simple as that. As simple as that. Okay. So if I have been a crank towards you, I'm sorry. All right, it's nothing personal. It is just solely the fact that I feel my body is telling me I'm dying. And if anyone, you can only relate to this if you dieted or competed. If you think you've been on a diet for one or two weeks, you don't understand what an eight to 12 week prep's like. All right, going without those foods that you miss, just something as simple as a flapjack or a bowl of dry oats with water. Can you imagine craving dry oats and water? That's not normal. That's how much your body is depleted of of of, of these carbs, of, of whatever it is you're eating, all right? So I just feel like I've addressed this now. You all understand where I'm coming from. If I've been a crank, I'm sorry. Most of your mates, most of my mates on here know me and I've done this four times already. And you know exactly what I'm like when I'm prepping. Most of you understand I just need to be left alone and just left to my own device. And once it's done, Ryan's back and he's just a normal guy. All right, I, I, you know me all. I'm the most upbeat, happy, smiley person you will ever meet, right? And even now when I'm thinking about it, I'm back, I'm Ryan again. But you know, five minutes later, guys, I'll be hungry. I'll be depleted. I'll be struggling to walk. My legs feel about four stone. They're so heavy doing like, you know, one hour to one hour and a half cardio a day, plus walking around the gym, plus clap training clients, plus walking back home, plus climbing the stairs to get up the flats, plus going shopping. Guys, when you're not depleted, these things don't happen, all right? So again, this is not a negative video. The idea of this video was for me and Sam to give you an insight of what it is like to prep for a photo shoot for eight weeks. Now, eight weeks is a small time period. My last prep, I did over 12. All right, so ideally now I'd have like another eight, another four weeks to go, which I would be probably in perfect position. You know, I, I've got, I'm not where I want, I'm not, I'm not where I need to be for the shoot. All right, that's, I have been ill, no excuses. I know I could suck on my diet, but I was severely allowed tonsillitis. And you know what it's like when you're ill, it's just impossible to sick on anything. Um, another four weeks would have done me absolutely superb. But it is what it is. I paid the money. I thought three times now pulling out on this and just paying the money. And do you know what? No, that's not me. That's not me. Three times I've done this. Three times. I can do it one more time. All right? All I've got to do is just switch off from the world. Just get my head in it. Bury my head in the sand. And if you know me well enough, guys, it's, it's not being horrible. It's just to leave me alone. 
It really is because I'm just not a nice person. I'm not me. I'm not, oh, yeah, let's go have, let's go, let's go have a beer because I can't have a beer. Let's go town. What for? Have a wander around, get, get a burger. I can't have a burger. I can't wander around town. I can't walk. My legs are shit. <laughs> I am done. I've slept in today till 10, had the morning off work. This is not how it should affect your life. You should be doing stuff that affects it in a positively way. All right, so this should be a positive thing for me that I am striving to make myself better for. Every morning, getting out of bed, let's go do cardio, let's get on track with a diet. And it's just pfft, to the ground. All right, it's now for Thursday. I've got tomorrow, Saturday, haircut Sunday, spray tan Monday, and then we're just going to London Tuesday and it is done. And for the foreseeable future, I am done with the whole prep scenario. I want to live a healthy, looking good looking like I train life without putting myself through this daily shit. My problem is I like having a skinny face too much because the second I eat normal, I go, you just look like a, a fat boy. But that's a little rant over. I'm going to upload this directly to Facebook, not to YouTube, because I feel like you all need to know what's going on. Um, and I will throw this into my vlog, my final vlog as well as an opening message, guys. So it is what it is. All right, I'm going to go to town, get some jobs done now and that's it, all right? This is not a bad thing. I'm giving you an insight because that's what my channel's about, honesty. I want you all to understand what it's honestly like to do what I do. To do what we do is not fucking easy. If it was easy, every person in that street would be competing, stood on stage with an eight pack, with skin drier than like a piece of turkey ham, all right? It would be... Everyone will do it, and that's why no one does it, because everyone gets to a point and like, fuck this, I can't handle this anymore. And unless you've got that mindset to keep going, you ain't getting there, mate. I'm telling you now, and I tell it to all my clients, all of them, all right? So, what lesson learned from this is, do not take it as extreme as I have, or we have. Take it to an extreme where you can diet well, eat well, enjoy your life, go out, enjoy your friends, but when you are on it, you're on it and you're doing well. One, two days a week of going out with your mates or having a kebab or, you know, a healthy kebab. I don't mean like a dirty don of meat. You know what I mean? Just the odd, oh, buddy, I'll, I'll, have, I'll, have, I'll have a biscuit with my cup of tea. Have your biscuit with your cup of tea. You're not competing. You're not on the front stage of a magazine. Go and enjoy it. Right, listen, run over. I'm going on. Right, I'll catch you in a bit, guys.